guys, welcome back to Wall Fork. My name is Veronica and I'm your social media manager. Today I'm going to be showing you a very quick, easy and delicious recipe. My family uh, loves this recipe. I love it too. It makes us happy. We make it, if not every weekend, every other weekend. And I'm talking about Greek Hawaiian burgers. Let me walk you through the ingredients. There are very few and you can find most of them at Wall Fork Foods. We're gonna be using our thick Angus chef style burger patties. Each patty is half a pound, so they're chunky, they're enough for one person each, and we're gonna be making all four today. These you cook from frozen, they're Angus beef. The marbling on these is amazing, the tenderness, the flavor, the juiciness, you're gonna just love the quality. Let me walk you also through the ingredients we're gonna be using in our sauce. It's a combination of salty and sweet flavors. We're gonna be using some pineapple chunks. You can find these at our store as well. We're also gonna be using barbecue sauce, and I'm also adding some pineapple juice to that sauce. For our toppings, I'm also gonna be using some feta cheese, and this is why we call these burgers Greek Hawaiian burgers. Salty, sweet, it's just perfect. We're also gonna add some spinach, avocados, and here I have our buns. You can also find these at the store, they are delicious. For seasonings, let me just show you what I'm using. It's one of my favorite go-to blends from Wall Fork and it's called the House Steak Seasoning and it does have a smoky kick to it. So I love this and we're gonna season our burgers even though you can cook them from frozen. I'm gonna take my House Seasoning blend and yes, it may look weird that I'm seasoning while they're also frozen but this really changes things for the flavor at the end. I'm gonna sprinkle a good amount. All right, so it's time to toast our buns. I'm gonna go all the way to six. Um, that's just a perfect sweet spot for me, anything between medium and medium high to toast and also to make my burgers. I'm just gonna spray some vegetable oil. You can use whichever oil you prefer. Olive oil is also good for these. I'm gonna let these toast for maybe two, three minutes and then we'll get started on our patties. Okay, let's take our delicious half pound patties, put them on here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook them for maybe four to six minutes on each side. So while those finish cooking, we're gonna go ahead and mix in our ingredients for our sauce into my pineapple chunks. I'm just gonna add my barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add my pineapple juice. And then I'm just gonna give it a quick mix and ooh, trust me, this is gonna be so, so good. Time to assemble our burgers. Before I do that, I'm gonna cut my avocados. Just wanted to leave them for last. Salt those avocados. And I'm adding some lime to them. I love lime. And they are ready, let's assemble. This is what I do. I take my barbecue pineapple sauce. I like to put it in my bottom part, bottom part of my burger. And I just grab as many pineapple chunks as I can. Then I go ahead and grab my patty. So next I grab my feta cheese and I do press it down. By the way, my hands are super clean. I know I've been using them a lot. Next, I'm just going to add in some spinach. And last but not least, I'm gonna add my avocados. Quick, and the last thing I like to do is go back to my barbecue sauce. This time, I try not to get any of the pineapple chunks, just a little bit right on top because oh, it's just so good. I'm just gonna top it off. Let me just show you how that looks. And if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try because we worked hard for these. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, they're so good. The sweetness from the barbecue sauce, the feta cheese is super salty, so it's just a perfect combination. And the patties are just so juicy and flavorful. This took less than 15 minutes. Please try this at home. I can assure you, you'll make your entire family happy. So easy, so delicious. Mmm. And you can order these anytime on our website or at the store. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.